Hello cellists! Today we're going to be working on French folk song. This is the second piece in Suzuki Book 1, and often takes quite a while to get there. If you started Suzuki Book when you were really young, let's say 3, 4, 5, sometimes it'll be a full year of pre-twinkle and twinkle variations before you finally get in to French folk song. So, congratulations! You've made it! French folk song combines two techniques that we discussed in earlier videos. The catapults that we saw in the left hand exercises and then open open close close which we learned in pulling a natural bow stroke. So if you haven't gone back and reviewed those two videos I recommend you do so now. French folk song is a descending D major scale. So it starts with fourth finger on the A string and descends down and then fourth finger on the D string and descends down and sort of builds up from there which means if you can do an accurate catapult you can start French folk song with the left hand. So again we'll start out here we'll try to land without looking on all four tapes took off my tapes, sorry we'll have to get those back on then you'll come down. So practice doing some catapults landing on D natural fourth finger on the A string and then also G natural, fourth finger on the D string. If you can do those and peel them off, we're looking for a straight elbow wrist pinky, so a straight EWP right here, not down like this, okay, and then all your fingers rounded, no collapsed fingers. All right, if you're going to play it, learn the technique. Make sure we've got some air underneath this armpit, straight EWP, and curved fingers. If you've got that, the left hand is a piece of cake for French folk song. The right hand involves long legato strokes. Something that we didn't get much of in this land. Right? And the twinkle variations are staccato strokes, and this is a legato stroke, so it's smooth. So go back to your open, open, close, close. We start with our arm closed here at the armpit, and we're going to pull, open your armpit, open your elbow, close your elbow, close your armpit, open here, make sure you get the second close, open, open, close, close, open, open, the A string you'll have a little bit less close, but we still want to bring this shut. If you're doing this, and then just going back the other direction, if you're not dropping this shoulder, then you're going to, to miss out on the beautiful legato weight that we can get using shoulder weight. Okay, so review those two techniques. The next thing that's tricky about this piece is the long up bows. We've done some long bows before, but long up bows are especially tricky and that involves that second close close. So we'll do previews to French folk song in your next video.